definitely gonna be a stormy day today, which works because it's just a big fat work day and I feel like stormy weather works for that. But just ended the other video from over there, last week's vlog. Also, if you're watching this week's vlog, when it comes out, just know that right now, Treat Week is back. New releases are live. All of the holiday, 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 I'm gonna say holiday and holly jolly, and I mix them together. All the holly jolly things are live. Tons and tons of new items, tons and tons of returning items, and they're all on sale now for 20 percent off and it's a new month you guys are seeing it the new month oh my god so we're just already at home right now because we're seeing this but we've got the new pr freebies which i will show you later in this video we've got the new font which i will show you new font which i'll show you later in this video but what i'm going to show you right now is the new foil of the month it is so good so perfect for holiday season it's going to be red marble which is so freaking fun. It is this like stunning red and silver marble pattern. Love it, love it. So make sure you check out all of those things. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat my two hash browns from McDonald's and I'm gonna eat my two straws. It was actually chaotic. We're at the McDonald's dry so I'm not exaggerating for 22 minutes. Sure. That was about, but it was crazy. But yeah, so I am just gonna Deep. put on some TV. I'm gonna watch something while I eat my hash browns. Probably play a or catch up on my games on VGA. I'm gonna put the groceries away with you guys, and then um, once I put the groceries away, I'm gonna do my hair and makeup so I can film. The ending of one big book video and an entire other book video. So, like the plan of the day, you know? We're going to the kitchen to do the groceries, you guys. This week, my tacos. I actually didn't end up making the tacos last week because I'm a lazy sack of show. What can I say? Um. And then I'm making this like, like instead of beef and broccoli, it's like chicken and broccoli. Got our diet cokes. And then I got some fake grilled cheeses. And Chris got some shit. And yeah, it's a nice little bar. Oh, we also got paper towel. Run out one bat. This is the bag of meat. I'm not gonna like take it out because meat's disgusting. Can we focus? So we've got some chicken breast and ground chicken in there. Two chicken breasts, one for whatever Chris is making, one for the chicken and broccoli, and then um, the ground chicken is for tacos. I'm gonna leave the onions in here. We're out of white onion. We grab white onion. I grab a little thing of frozen broccoli because Chris didn't remember. Yeah, we do have a ton in there, but I was like, in case we don't have a lot, this is like a dollar. And it'll get eaten eventually. Some bell peppers for Chris. He's been like cooking chicken and making like quesadillas. So there's that. Then the onions are in here. I do hear I forgot. Where it goes. But um Yeah, there's a bunch in there. We um are gonna probably have to go to H E B because they just didn't have a green onion. Just didn't exist. Some pumpkin spice flavored for Chris, some cornstarch. I also got stuff to make apple crisp. You need vanilla ice cream for apple crisp, of course. And then um, we got some egg rolls to go with our chicken and broccoli. Chris needed more turkey, some French onion dip. I think you guys need to like look it up a little taller. There we go. Um, I got some spreadable butter because if I'm making grilled cheeses, I like to put butter on the outside of the bread, of course. Just American cheese for the grilled cheese because I'm a child. And we're out of minced garlic, so we got a fresh jar of that. 
We got some eggs. That's what we needed them. So, egg. Only all that's in this bag is five apples. The, the apple crisp recipes have five apples specifically. We've been out of like storage bags for forever, so we grabbed some of those. Chris said we needed sandwich pickles. I fear we don't need them. And tomato soup, I got the four pack. Oh, maybe we did need them. Are we finally actually out of all of our backup? Pickles, okay, I guess we did need them, so. because tell me why the Lay's brand is $5. This is $2, so we got that and the Lay's ones that I got last week. 85% of the bag was just smushed into crumbs. Some white bread for me, and then Chris's keto bread. And then the final bag. We've got my favorite Cheez-Its, the Zesty Ranch Grooves. Um, brown sugar, I need it for both of the chicken and broccoli and the honey crisp we were out of cooking spray sesame oil and we we're dangerously low well. so that's everything from the grocery everything from the ghetto alert and my sweater off Yeah. 
forgot to get new shorts in this, but it'd be like that. What goes in the fridge? Eggs, eggs definitely go in the fridge. I'm just gonna put these next to the egg thingy so that we use up the old eggs first, of course, of course. Cheese and butter, they both go in the fridge. Do you guys keep like room temperature butter? We always did growing up, like both my mom's house and my dad's house, but like as an adult, I've literally never done that because like, I don't know if I just go through butter fast enough. Like I did at one of my apartments like back in like 2016, 2017. And like, it would just always go sour. consuming it fast enough so like I don't know so if you keep your water on the counter is there like a tip or trick to like keep it fresher because like I obviously like if I could so that I can have like actual like soft butter because like you know, I want to spread the butter it's spread like great. It spreads like okay. So, also we always buy. So obviously, like the fact that it doesn't work doesn't really affect me buying it. I'm still buying it, but um, the white not white men's whoa. The Walmart Brand cooking spray, literally every single, every time, every single time, it, um, the, like, nozzle, the spray nozzle breaks. So tell me why I keep buying it and don't buy a different brand. would love to understand that logic in my head, but I don't. But literally every single time, it breaks. It breaks and then it breaks. And I just keep using it and getting it. Customs, and then I'll get ready and get to filming the other video so I can get to work. Okay, y'all, we finished filming. Fin filmed the end of my reading vlog, and Chris picked my TBR. He picked five books, and tell me how every single book title starts with the word the. Also, today's gonna be a moment of truth, but for the washing, and we did get our dryer fixed last week. If you weren't here for that saga of annoyingness, but it did get fixed. I feel like all of our clothes that like air dried last week feel crunchy. <sighs> but um any hoodily doodle. They came, if they fixed it like I think Wednesday. But the thing is, is like I do a load of laundry a week, which is part of the annoyance of the whole thing. I'm like, we've had this washer, we got it. It's September, August of 2022, so like just barely two years ago. And I do a load of laundry a week, if that. Some weeks I'm not here. Chris doesn't do the laundry when I'm gone. So, oh my god, I'm getting so annoyed. My like shit is not like offloading and it's pissing me right off. Oh, but I'm gonna get these things offloaded and then, like I said, I did send Andrea me customs. And so I'm gonna do those at some point today. I need to pull foil and design new releases. Check and make sure I got my payout for the week. I don't trust anything. I had to pay rent yesterday, which was a disgusting behavior, if you ask me. Oh, and I got a cute little YouTube payout. Oh, $100 every other month. I appreciate you guys for watching my ads so that I can pretend like I make income on YouTube. That would be the dream. The dream. Okay, I need to just turn the volume off of Chris's laptop because it's making the most annoying sound. Um, yeah, so since I don't have my customs yet, I can't really avoid it because I have a lot to do today and I want to 
pull foil before I work on new releases because pulling foil is torture and I may get the worst part done right away person. What do you guys, what order do you guys do things in? I know me and Andrea do thing, do this oppositely. I like to do whatever's going to be the hardest and the longest first and then end on the easiest and she likes to get the easiest done first so she can get a bulk of the work done and then just have like the one big thing at the end. I feel like all of my reels of me pulling foil look exactly the same like they aren't any different but they just like always do really well so I'll probably grab my phone little tripod thing and film one of those since they do well and it adds a variety and I can only film one a week because I only pull foil on Mondays grab a notepad to take notes as to what I may need to purchase Yeah, I'm gonna go grab my phone tripod and then I will be pulling some foil off camera and then I will reconvene with you guys after I end of the reel and we can pull some together as well. Okay friends, we are here with the foil pulling portion of today's video. Okay, who are we working on? Michelle from Michigan, I think, am I? She got the Regina 2 overlay in pink hollow. The order I just did also got this in pink hollow. The order before this had a lot of pink hollow, so gotta cut more. We have got Shine 3 underlay. We need one in Pixie Rainbow. As well as one in Pixie Gold. Which we need to cut more from that. Some mini fast food icons in white. Also, I have so many colors cut in my bit. I think I'm in life, life a miserable. We got a bunch of shine mixed overlays. We have pastel rainbow. We have got pixie magenta. Pixie lime. Pixie Rose and the foil of the month. Pixie Rose. And the good old FOTM foil of the month. Then we need mixed overlays in the foil of the month. And then weekly essentials in both the foil of the month and pastel rainbow. Did not see any of the month in there while well, I was searching. And I know I don't have any pastel rainbow because I literally just grabbed it out of there. So adding more to the giant bin of foils. That's what happens when I don't have treat week. So whenever I have treat week I pull out of that bin for the foils. And it's been like a month, so it's just really getting in there. That's everything for Michelle. Then we have Betsy from Alabama. We've got two Autumn 3 underlays in Pixie Gold. Three Curly Q underlays in Pixie Gold. Curly Q is one of the OG patterns in the shop from when I first started underlays. And then we need to do a wine bundle in copper. Perfect. And then a birthday 15 millimeter washi overlay in pixie gold.
That's everything for Betsy. And Betsy got Madison's freebie. Then we have Jennifer from Ohio with a spider bundle in brown marble. As well as a skelly bundle in winter green. custom script in the foil of them yeah so this is a font or foil of the month so we'll grab that and pop it in there that was the september foil of the month as you guys as i showed you it's not the current foil of the month we've got emma from mo Ooh. missouri maybe it's my best guess um emma got us the gamer washi in shattered hollow which and the pool floaty washi in shattered hollow and some grid headers in shattered hollow emma really likes shattered hollow i think this is emma plans that, that specific emma Leave. Yep, I already have the shatter right there for the grid headers. And then an unfoiled custom washi and an unfoiled pool floaty washi. So that hollow drawer is over freaking full oh, one with stuff. Next we have Jessica from California. Jessica got a mountain one underlay in Hunter Green. A garden two underlay in autumn gold a field of flowers underlay in lavender and a mountain two underlay in ice as well as some two cat tarot underlays but those were unfoiled so we don't gotta do shit for that and she got my sister's freebie and that's all for jessica Next, we have Jacqueline from Texas. She got Kirstie's freebie. Um, we're going to be pulling out our things from in here because we got some shorties that I know I have in here. We've got the Flower Crafting Deco. We need Corn, Powder Blue, um, Pixie Lemongrass, and Pixie Lime. So I am just going through looking for those colors. I think I have everything besides the Pixie Lemongrass in here, if I'm being honest with you. Pixie Lime, got her. Powder Blue, got her. And Corn, got her. Okay, worked out great. And then I just need to do a Pixie Lemongrass. that I need to put them in corn powder lemon lime okay and then she got a large name script and a large year script in the font foil of the month as well as that she got her name and then she got 2024 and 2025 so another foil of the month okay next up going back in the bin baby we need star one deco we need silver stars i need a bunch of colors so i'm just gonna go through this and see if we need it we don't need green tie-dye we don't need light blue we don't need pixie lemon we don't we need blue hollow no light purple no that no ice yes Antique gold is a no. Maybe is a no. It's hot pink in here. No. Pastel. No. Okay. Regular rainbow. No. Dark purple. No. Black. No. Purple again. Or midnight. No. 
no dark blue, no gold hollow, no winter zebra or lime. Those are all no's. Pixie gold. Pixie blue, pixie hollow, pixie blue, no. Black is a no. Pixie rainbow. No, negative gold nickel. Okay, none of those colors. Not those silver waves. No, matte silver, definitely not. More silver waves. No, no. Okay, pink waves is a yes. Pink hollow flower is a yes. Like have it kind of in my head what colors I'm looking for now and it's not any of these. Magenta? No. Okay. Okay, so we have four of the colors that we needed. Silver stars. We can toss that in the bin. This is for star one deco. As well as a powder blue for star one crafting deco. We do need a pixie blue. Coral. And we need an ice. That's everything for that. And with the flower crafting deco, we need pink waves and pink hollow flower. And then we need pixie hollow. Isn't that like the name of where Tinkerbell lives? Is pixie hollow? Or am I making that up? Let me know. and pixie blue for the flowers. And some no foil nonsense, and then star SPC star one reading journal deco and foil of the month. That's everything for Jacqueline. Then we have Cassie from Indiana. She got some page topper and cotton candy and the Gladiolus 15 millimeter in matte gold. Ugh, Cassie, I just know whenever I'm this close to the end of the sale orders, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, this is such a quick order. Okay, that's for Cassie. Okay, Kimberly from California. She needs two SPC spice ratings in Pixie Red, two SPC Star One in Pixie Lemon, and two SPC Heart Two in Hollow Magenta. And then um, Kimberly did get a ton of. Um, some scripts unfoiled but we don't need to pull anything for things that aren't foiled of course we've got miss vanessa from illinois and vanessa's is going to be the last one we do vanessa got the beetlejuice bundle it's called bee juice in pixie red And then she got some flower reading journal deco. The reading journal deco sheets are bigger because the stickers are pretty big. So we need long sheets. We need sunset hollow. She got both flower one and two in these colors. So I'm just going to cut the two while I'm at it. Sunset hollow. We need some navy. I do not have any navy. Cut. Get it cut. I just want to be done with this so we work on Christmas. Navy and burgundy. There's two colors in the shop that when they first came to the shop, Chris read them really weird. One of them being burgundy, he called it burgundy. And then taupe, he said, like, what the fuck is toppy? So now I can't like unread them that way. So in my head, that's just what those colors are called now. We need a Miguel bundle in Sunset. Some purple solid boys. Okay, 
Okay. Where to be found. Okay. A checker bundle in olive. And a shine bundle in olive. So she has 12 strips of olive, and then that's everything for Vanessa. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Lots of olive for Miss Vanessa. That's everything for Vanessa. That's going to be, I think, all we're going to do together. I think the next one might also have no foil based on what I'm seeing. Yeah, Kimberly from Virginia. I guess I can grab the next one. It's just Keisha from Florida. Um, we have a large name in Pink Hollow Flowers and the custom rating system in Pink Hollow Flowers. It's always hard for me to stop with you guys when like it's a really quick and easy one. I'm like, oh, I can just do it. I can just do it. actually gonna go now okay toodles 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 the moment of truth the washer is done so sprinkle in some dryer sheets sorry if you heard her screaming it's just how he operates and easy it took way less time than it usually does my back is only like a usually it's like a 10 out of 10 back pain after i'm done i'm only at like a three four i don't know it just like went really smoothly and i don't need to order anything which is like chef's kiss because as i always tell you guys foil i'm gonna have to order foil it's like hundreds and hundreds and so like if I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on foil it's like pretty sick you know I ain't gonna be complaining about that so just putting all of the colors that I had taken out away and then I'll check my Andrea sent me customs. NBD if she didn't, if she did not, then well, first things first, if I'm gonna organize this footage, it's on Chris's desktop. But then I can I'll probably film my haul clip and then get started on working on new releases. I guess like I said I don't need to order anything, and so I Love that. Love that. Love that. But yeah, I'm going to organize this footage on Chris's computer, watch my videos on YouTube, and just chillax. And you're going to die. So bye. Hello, friends. It is like 3 o'clock, 2.45. Um, I don't know why I decided for straight the second that I absolutely had to like back up the files on my computer and then put them onto my external hard drive. Whenever I'm designing new releases, I get into like a panic about it. So I just decided like, oh, best do this now. It's going to take a while and I don't want to like be on the computer while it's doing that. So 
think I might put away a bunch of doodles. I have like a bunch of colors of the week that I need to decant and put away, but I'm freezing at the moment. So I think I might just lay down for a minute. Oh my God, I forgot I had makeup on. Okay, we're gonna get working on putting my doodles away. My desk is so scratched and gross, but to replace it. Okay. And these are all, no, these are just regular doodles. I do have a chunk of the Disney ones I've not gotten around to putting away. Maybe I'll actually do that today. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, this was for the mystery kids. Okay. many I have to do you guys it's been a while since I've gotten around to this cuz I'm a lazy sack of shit when it comes to this okay but basically I'm just gonna match up all of the like things and then like all the like pages and then we'll get to it design and then probably like two or three hours to print cut and foil everything but I need to do that because I need to get the pictures taken so I can start posting the sneaks and I need to download the pictures of all of the bundles from last year so that I can post those too but yeah shouldn't be too bad it's like with holiday releases they're not as like labor intensive as just like from scratch new releases because 70% of the stuff or more is stuff that's coming back from the past like Christmas 2020, 2021, 2022. This is my fourth year of making Christmas stuff so it's a lot of like returning items which is awesome. So it's like a fat release but just easier. Oh, this is just so pretty. I keep walking past it. Let me, let me lay her out for you to really see her beauty you see that it's so pretty i love her and i will need to after that film probably won't film it till tomorrow because it'll be dark and i like there to be foil is best with natural light film my like happy october everybody video to show all of the new october things and uh, cool thing about these releases though not for you guys, because the, the end of the month has already happened, but Monday, I think, is the 30th, so there's a chance to get stuff in the old foil of the month. We love when that happens, but yeah, I'm gonna... My pizza doesn't have a minute left, so I'm gonna eat, probably play a game on VGA, and relax, and then get to work, 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 work. Hello, friends. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm gonna get my Diet Coke and I did not finish working on new releases yesterday. It became like nine o'clock and like, I don't know 
how people like kit shops and stuff. I was talking to Andre about this and I'm like, girl, I don't know how you do design every single week because I designed for one day yesterday. And it was like a full like, I don't know, like 10 hours of a day working on new releases. No, because I have working for, I don't know, it wasn't even that long, I guess. And it really just sucked the life out of me. I don't know if it was that or if it was the combo of that mixed with um, having pulled foil because y'all know that really takes it out of me. But look at my hair. Why is it like curled like ugh, in a bun? That's why. Ugh, but we're here. We're awake. We're doing the dang thing. I have like a couple more things I need to design that I forgot were requested until I was like falling asleep and I was like, oh yeah, gotta do that. So I'm gonna do those and then, ugh. And then print cotton foil everything and then we'll go from there, you know? Yeah, nah. Yeah, no, whoa, 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 whoa. that's where I'm at for the day. Kind of over it, but do be what it do be, baby. Well, the amount of time it took me to print cut and foil all the new releases, it's literally 4.30 p.m. Here they are. It's huge, it's wild, but I'm gonna get to phot photographing, photographing all of them while it's still light out, and then I'm gonna film the new release video, edit the pictures. I probably, I was gonna possibly work on orders today, but by the time I'm done with this, can also film my plan with me. It's gonna be quite late, but I should be good to finish all of those because I took quite a few days off last week and I have less orders to do than I did last week. So all is good, but I'm gonna go photograph this while I still have sunlight. And I'm photographing it before I film because when I photograph it, I'm gonna kind of organize everything. So that'll, then everything will be nice and organized for my the video instead of being all over the place like I usually am. We're thinking ahead, baby. It's rare, but we do it sometimes. Okay, guys, I finished filming the new releases and I filmed a plan with me that I didn't film yesterday because I was in the thralls of designing. But my next step is I'm gonna film the reel for new releases and I can be done with new releases put them in the oops bin and be done with it and I'm gonna film the October exclusives and the new PR team reels lots of real film filming today this was a very big like back end work week like I had a lot of stuff to do that's not like orders it's just stuff on the back end obviously that's what back end means I'm gonna just take pictures of this spread since I'm gonna have the background out. But I'm just gonna go film these things and I'll check in with you guys later. Toodles! Hi friends, we just arrived from the good old Mackie D's. Got the goods, got the freaking goods, you know? The foods. It's a very annoying, obnoxious process actually. First, get to the window and the girl's like yeah here's your total and I'm like we had mobile so we like paid on the app and she's like oh okay then we get to the next window and the guy's about to hand me a, a lemonade and a happy meal and I'm like that's not mine he's like he had the mobile order and I'm like yeah and he's like nuggets in a basket of fries I'm like no he was very confused by it and then we had to pull ahead and it took like for freaking ever I don't know what the deal was but any hoodly doodle which is it's probably not like in my best interest that I'm drinking a soda at this hour but like I am 7 30 p.m and I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go make our apple crisp oh my god my throat just made the weirdest noise I posted the sneaks you guys are really liking them that makes me feel like the amount of work I've done this past week was worth it but yeah I'm very very excited so yeah, that's all. That's all. Toodaloo. Okay, we're done. We're gonna go prepare. Forgot my phone. I need my phone. I need the recipe. 
I'm gonna go prepare our cute little apple crisp. Are you cooking that apple crisp? I'm gonna prepare it. It takes like an hour to cook, so. It says 45 to 60 minutes, which, as some people think, is like a decent amount of Why is there sesame seeds all over the counter? Oh, Christopher, oh, Christopher. But, um, as some people bake, like, decently regularly, I feel like most of the time when you bake, the, like, span of time for the baking is usually, like, a couple of minutes, not, like, 15 minute difference. Get out all the things I'm using the bell of the kitchen recipe. Okay, okay. You know what said? Pre to 45 minutes. Okay, 350. Got that. We need a deep dish pie plate or a large baking dish. My only like, pie plate is not like a deep dish pie plate, so. This might have to do 9 by 13 seems kind of like obnoxious for this, but this is my pie plate. Do we think that that'll be fine? That's kind of deep. We'll go with the pie plate. Okay, let's get out our ingredients. What does it say to grease it, right? Sugars right there. Cinnamon and vanilla. Grab those things from my cabinet of doom. Orange, peppermint, vanilla. Check. Okay, the cinnamon, where are you? All spice clove. This is a square one? I think it's in a square. No, that's definitely not cinnamon. Let's 
step one is combine apple slices with the cinnamon sugar vanilla extract into a large mixing bowl. Oh. Half 
of a cup of flour. So a little bit less than half of a cup. Grab a little bit more. Desperately need flour unless I have some in the cabinet. So flour. Melted butter and still stir until combined and sprinkle it over the apples. Butter is a melted. Okay. We will just stir this on up until it combines and becomes a crumble. As you can see, like when you pinch it, it sticks together. So you know it's like a good crumble. There we go. Okay. I'm going to unfortunately be using my hands to crumble this on top. Don't really know about the oats situation, but hey. What this recipe said to do and it had really good ratings and i do somewhere have my mom's recipe but i don't i don't know where my sister has my mom's cookbook and i only have like photocopied versions of the stuff from it and i have to like siphon through everything and i'm just too lazy for that this given time oh it's gonna feel like i have sugar under my nails for like three days i already know it already know it What now, bitches? Bake for 45 to 60 minutes until the topping is golden brown. So I'm gonna put it in for 45 and then check it. And then at the beginning of this, you saw we did purchase, um, what's it called? We got vanilla ice cream to eat with this. If you know me but at all, you know I'm not a vanilla person, but when it comes to it being like a topping, then I like vanilla. Chocolate ice cream on this would be weird. It would be gross. So. shelf that we don't really use up to the shelf above it because that shelf is like meant for things you don't use and then make it be two shelves of spices and then put my baking stuff on the shelf above that because even if I can't reach it that's fine I can just get a spool for when I need that stuff because I use the spices more than I use the chocolate chips so I set a timer for 45 minutes set timer for 45 minutes 
It's 8 o'clock now. I'm going to go finish my book. I'm too lazy to turn the lights on, but can I show you? Yeah, go ahead. What's the review? Dude, first of all, what's it called? Apple Crisp. Apple Crisp. Have you never had it? I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's freaking busting. Apparently, it's good. Oh, I've not talked to you all day. I've not informed you on what a trash can of a day it's been. It is 2 o'clock and we're just now getting to work. Is it because I had a glorious lion, as the kids would say? No, it is not. It is simply because we well, at 9.30, got out of bed, put clothes on because I needed to run to the grocery store to get um, lettuce for the tacos and green onion for the other meal I'm making, the chicken and broccoli, and... Um, as I'm putting my clothes on to get going to the store, the power goes out. This was, by the time I'm like up, brush my teeth, getting ready, whatever, it's close to 10 o'clock, okay? Because I was being a dollar. Because I didn't go to bed until 4.30 in the morning. So, any what do I do though? Get up, get ready, brush my teeth, get dressed, power goes out. I look at Chris, like, did the power just go out? And he's like, I think so. So we're looking on the like, electrical company's website. So it, might, it won't be back until 1 p.m. Okay, so we go get breakfast, we go to HEB, and we literally, like I'm trying to take a nap, but I'm like a sleep the TV on type of person. And the silence, plus the fact that it was getting so stuffy in the house, and it's like 90 degrees out, and then the AC's off, no fans, nothing, is just really unbearable. So, I have hiccups. Basically, I've just been fucking sitting around and then finally I'm like, I gotta go pee. And I was using the hallway bathroom because I could <sighs> leave the door open. The electricity finally came back on. Look at now, it is like 1.30. whole thing is so annoying, you know? No idea why I went out. It just like went out, no explanation. But here we are, here we freaking are. Um, I'm gonna finish filling out my planner from yesterday. I need to also you guys actually I have a Chris and some leopardy top so that he can edit a video on it today. And the end is on here, so that'll basically be that for the day. And I'm gonna get to work. Probably gonna be a late work day because I'm not getting started till now, so it's like kind of annoying, but one of those where beggars can't be choosers when it's just kind of like the cookies crumbling. Hey friends. I'm about to prepare supper for some tacos. Very easy, breezy, beautiful. But work has been going fine. Like I mentioned, I'm like doing, it's like I have all these smart. We're not doing girls day tomorrow actually. I feel like everything always works out. So I'm good for this. But, um, we tend to have girls day tomorrow and I was like honestly because Andrea and Nick had like one of the movies and like some plans where we were like go on a date and I was like yeah girl any date is fine obviously and honestly it's kind of serendipitous because I didn't get start working till super late today so I have a lot of work to make up for so it like actually works out perfectly this way so that I don't have to work hella late today. That's what I'm really grateful for. Um, basically, in this like current chunk of orders, there is two really big orders that both involve a lot of customs. And so I'm working on one of them now, and there's two small orders, and then the other big order. So I'm gonna do the one I'm working on now, and the two smaller orders and then stop and then tomorrow start up with the big order i prefer i really like doing that i um, almost always try to line it up that i am ending the day on a big order like ending the day right at the like start of a big order i think that big orders i they don't feel as daunting a fresh night's sleep, getting out all the taco things, hopefully those 
shells are like in better condition than last week or the other week. Onion, oh, yeah. we did go to HEB and we got lettuce and I got four of the Alani Witches Brew. They did have it. Um, they haven't had it at Walmart, and I actually didn't think they had it at HEB because, um, it was not with the, um, taco sauce. It was not with the, like, Olani's. They have a couple of different places where they keep, at least at this specific HEB, where they keep energy drinks. There is, like, a specific aisle that's like half energy drinks it's really weird it's like with the health food and i feel like it's kind of unproductive but i digress that's where it lives and then there is by the front of the store like 10 cooler cases full of energy drinks and they weren't there they were with like the fall day core which like I guess that they are autumnal, seasonally autumnal, but like, I just wouldn't, it was like the aisle next to the greeting cards and like the lanterns, just wasn't expecting them. Chris was like, let's just go down this aisle, like turn to get towards the like exit. And I was like, oh my God, I don't want to order them on Amazon because they only have like cases of 12. And like, I can guarantee you I'll be sick of it before I drink 12. Probably, you never know with me, but I already have a casualty. Just want to like four to six for the season, like, because realistically, I will probably only drink like one a week of those. So, like, I don't need a million. I do need to get Halloween candy next week. I meant to add it to this week's grocery shopping list, but then I forgot. Throw that in. Throw this out and we'll get the meat started. I'm literally struggling. Chris has been having really bad like sinus headaches, but um, and so he's like laying down right now on the hot bag. I'm like, am I good to start dinner? Because I'm starving to death. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. We did go to breakfast this morning. I think I did tell you that. And whenever we go, I always get the biscuits and gravy. But the biscuits and gravy come with hash brown and egg. And I don't, I don't eat egg. I've been grossed out by egg for like last year, if I'm being honest with you. Hard boiled is like the only kind of like, well, I guess like boiled eggs, so soft boiled, hard boiled, like kind of ramen is really been like the only egg I can stomach. This is really grosses me out. I'm not even gonna tell y'all why because I don't wanna like gross anybody else out, okay? But if you already don't like eggs and you wanna know, shoot me a DM as to what my current predicament for eggs has been. This has been like the longest egg um but yeah so anywho so i get that and it's like 13 dollars the meal which like is whatever um oh my goodness every time but i don't get the egg and i don't like let you sub it out for anything else chopper and it's like hard to get through so I'm gonna actually cut this in half but um it's just too big of a piece basically they don't let you switch it out and like I'm not really the hugest fan of their hash browns either but I love their biscuits and gravy I love the vibes their hash browns are like hit or miss sometimes they're really good and then like today the potatoes felt like they like weren't cooked enough they're just kind of hard and not really like that so I feel like next time we go I'm just gonna get like a biscuit as a side and it's like three dollars or two dollars i think it's like two something and then you can get a um side of sausage gravy also for like three dollars so it'd be like five dollars instead of like twelve dollars i could get a side of bacon and it would still be like cheaper and i'd probably like it better or i could just get like 
two biscuits and a side of gravy because they also always give me way too much gravy. So, basically the discovery I made today. Onion has been cut. We will open this lettuce and put her in the Ziploc Dooney. That whole situation with the no internet, or not not internet, you know, it makes the internet issue last, the other week seem like nothing. The electricity issue, having no electricity, like we're Amish, was really a travesty for this morning, to be honest with you. Listen, I will be the first to admit I'm very easily, I'm a dramatic girl, okay? And I very easily let things ruin my day that I shouldn't. It was really putting me in a mood, but digress. We have moved past it. Started the last night. I like finished the book I was reading because it's catching fire. And then I read the entire other book. I always give myself one napkin when I eat tacos. And for me it's like two napkin kind of meal. Because then bitches always be breaking. Okay, two thirds cup of water or three fourths? Three fourths. I always think it's two thirds. One of these days I'm gonna get it right, you guys, without having to look. Are you a measurer or an eyeballer? I'm a measurer. I feel like it's the um Virgo slash Enneagram type one in me where everything has to be done exactly perfect by the rules at all times. I'm a double whammy Virgo and Enneagram one. Tell me, do you guys know your Enneagram? If you do, comment down below. Tell me what you are. I'm a type one, which is the perfectionist slash reformer, depending on which source. And honestly, that being in contribution, also let me know your are so I'm a Virgo. In combination with Virgo, who's also known to be like a perfectionist and very hard on themselves, has really like set me up for failure in life. Mentally, I mean, probably for success, in every other aspect because I'm so afraid of failure. But I'm gonna cook this up and we're gonna have our tacos for dinner and it's gonna be delicious. And I can't wait because I'm so, so hungry. So I don't know why I'm so like ravenously hungry. I feel like I haven't had much of an appetite for the past couple of days, so I'm kind of glad for it. But yeah, basically that's gonna be the setup and then I have the big order that I'm working on and then two small orders to do today. I'm hoping to be done working. It's like already almost six though, by like nine or 10, cause this order is gonna take me a while. We're done working for the day guys. It's actually only 8.45, so that's awesome. Cause I was thinking it was gonna take until like nine or 10, but a little bit earlier than we anticipated. Totally down, freaking, I'm so pooped. Last night, like I said, I was up to like four o'clock in the morning maybe. <sighs> It was a choice. It was my choice. So like I can't be mad at anybody but me, but it was still a choice. Because I wanted to finish the book I was reading and then I was just like, honestly I sobbed so hard reading that book. So I was just kind of like wrecked after that. But I'm gonna change out the wax in her room so that we can. And then it's always like my, what's the word I'm looking for? My like schedule for the evening, what I like to do, my routine, that's the word, is I like to change the wax before I get into the shower because then by the time I get out of the shower, the wax is like starting to melt and smell yummy and it's just great vibes. So I've been melting this monster cookie fluff puff and it's so good. I'm also trying to really um, reconcile my September reading. like. The beginning of September, I was really, I wasn't home for the end of August slash beginning of September. I was back in New York visiting the fam fam. And then, I'm gonna do this cinnamon roll then. Um, and then, whenever I got home, I had a lot of catch up on, so I wasn't reading a lot. And then I read some really long books this month, which is like fine, but Based on like, looking through my reading for the year, I would say on average, I read like 12 books a month and I'm pretty sure I've only read like six. So I'm kind of like trying to read like a book a day 
to make up for it but you know you're oh put in a cinnamon roll scent from fantasy wax and now i am going to take a shower and get into this glorious bed and lay down i don't know what chris's plan is usually it's wednesday usually on wednesdays he hangs with his friends um and plays games but lately he's been like really wanting to read but he finished his book and i've been trying to convince him to read hidden pictures if you guys think he should read it comment down below he wants to do a video where we like swap our favorite books but i told him i'd rather do that in like january and like swap our favorite book from like the year because he's only read like i think like four books so far this year because he's just been getting back into reading but i didn't read hidden pictures this year so that would like negate it and he's been wanting to read some spooky books for spooky seasons i'm like, really trying to convince him but I'll probably see if he's planning on coming to hang out with me also laura b if you're laura b love you thank you you used my book of the month code i got an email it's like laura used your code so i think you're the probably the one specific laura who orders like custom multis every week always has hamburger on it and chicken if that's you let me know girl but um yeah i always have that linked down below if you sign up with my code i get a credit for a book and you can use um whatever coupon code they have going on to get a discount on your first month's book but i'm gonna go take a shower i would really like to finish my book that i'm reading today but we will see hello friends wizards witches and waffles um hi so it's the morning it's thursday i just tried calling my dad but he's visiting my grandma i called him kind of late in the day it's 11 i got it like an hour ago but i've just been kind of moseying around because today's technically my day off but i'm working on my day off i usually have two full days off it's usually mon like monday and then whatever day is girls day girls day was going to be today we had to cancel for different reasons but as you guys may have seen on andrea's Instagram, she did post about it, that um, a car ran into the SBC office. So she has that to deal with today. So I am going to get to work, work, work. I did the math and I only really need to get like six or seven orders done a day. Obviously gonna shoot for more. I definitely will be getting more than that done today. Um, especially because I wanna get ahead because next week I'm gonna start my production of it's on the advent and then i was like to andrea let me know if you need help with anything i got you and she's like oh i will so get ahead on work while you get so i'm not gonna do that but today we're gonna be working on chloe from california alana from australia tabitha from tennessee um christina from new york Naomi from California, Celia from Wisconsin, Emily from Kentucky, Sylvia from overseas, Tanya from New York, Nicole from New York, Keisha from Florida, Kimberly from Virginia. I'm gonna say that's probably like my goal for the day. It's like about half of the orders here, so not like the thickness of the paper. I don't know exactly how many orders are here, but it would be lovely if I could get a good chunk of these done today and tomorrow, and then over the weekend start the advent and be like ahead. That would be chef's kiss. Chef's freaking kiss. But I'm gonna toss on some YouTube and get to work it's gonna be like a pretty boring day my dad's visiting my grandmother right now so we didn't really talk he was like can i call you back if you're like not going anywhere and i'm like yeah that's fine obviously so he's gonna call me back when he's done visiting my grandmother and yeah that's pretty much today's plan is just work um I'm actually going to set an alarm for like 1.30. 1.30. I'll try on the 1.15 alarm. I'm going to get the dinner in the crock pot. 
I'm making like chicken and broccoli tonight and then we have like some egg rolls and um, rice to go with it. So that's today's plan. We're gonna just be little busy working bees, you know? And that's okay. That's what we're gonna do. Hello friends. Chit chat with my dad and then I just filmed a um <clears throat> What's the word? A tag video for Hannah's reading realm. So now I'm just gonna put all of this nightmare of books that I just took out away. It's always so much easier to pull them all out and make a mess than put it all back. But it shouldn't be too terrible because I do have everything organized so nicely now. Grab everything that I know that goes over here. But yeah, that was like fun. Got to talk about some books that I don't usually talk about and that I really enjoy. So that was nice. But yeah, I chatted with me Padre for about 30 minutes, caught up. He was heading off to the gym and I was like, that's fine. Well, I was like, I need to get back to work. I got a lot to do. And he was like, okay, I'm heading to the gym. So it wasn't like a particularly long call, but hey. Still did our weekly catch up and that, that's what counts. Currently putting the house across, or the not house across the lake, the only one left on display because Chris is reading hidden pictures. So I don't have her to put there. So that is fine. Oh, this goes here. This book goes in the trash, to be honest with you. It goes with my getting rid of books. But I had to pull it out for this video. Okay, fix a little cutie poo bear. This one's over here because I'm reading it for a video. <sighs> Some orange books. back in my books to get rid of, put my sweater back on, and go back to work on Chloe's order. I literally had just started her order when my dad called, but that's fine. It's like noon. I talked to my dad for like 30 minutes, and I spent like 30 minutes filming that video, so all is good in the hood. Did I do my hair and makeup just to film a 30 minute video? I sure did. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna go get back to work. You yeah, know, the huge. Okay, guys, it's 8 o'clock. I didn't quite reach my, what I, like, told you guys I was gonna do. I think I told you my whole day is a blur. But, um, I've reached my quarter for the day, and my head is throbbing. Probably because I've had a lot of caffeine and no water today. Woo! So, I simply need to lay down because my head hurts so bad I could cry. So, that's the plan. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm gonna close my eyes. Because <laughs> my head hurts. Hello, friends. We are continuing on with the butterfly garden. Last night, I got up to part two. I'm reading this on my Kindle, and I'm gonna be honest. I stopped. Because part two, this is gonna take me two and a half hours to read. But here we are. We were on a page. This doesn't even have a page number. 87 this much through it's going okay so far so far i'm feeling like it's like a three i'm not like obsessed with it yet but there's still a lot to come i think i went into it thinking like i mean obviously there's still a lot of time to go because what percentage are we at technically 30 percent exactly um but i feel like everybody says how dark it is and so like i went into it thinking this is gonna be like a, a thousand out of ten dark and so far it's not which i'm not like upset about but I just feel like on edge waiting for it to get horrifying. So we will see. We are going to continue on with the butterfly garden. Can confirm at 48% it has gotten a lot more fucked up. And honestly the sun Avery is horrifying, horrifying, horrifying. Good morning friends. Slept in of course. Like, I slept until like 10. It's not like 11. 
Oh, so I'm scrolling, getting some posts done, doing like on my phone work for the day. And I'm ready to get started on what is, of course. Um, I'm gonna grab a bevy to start the day, and I think today's the day. I'm gonna crack an energy drink because I could not sleep last night. I couldn't fall asleep. So then I finished my book, and then I was like, it was a spooky book. So I was like, well, I need like to watch some of a show or like do a scroll or do something so I don't have a nightmare about this book. So I feel like whenever I have nightmares, they all are about like abduction. I don't know what that was about. So it seemed like I should just maybe not, just not go straight to sleep or it was gonna be like spooky times but um Chris needs to mow the lawn this morning it's more so mow the weeds because the lawn is dead but the weeds are somehow thriving let's grab some wax for in here so I'm gonna go grab that I'm gonna leave you guys in here while I do that okay I'm gonna do simply sweet from my collab with fantasy wax and it's just zucchini bread and salted caramel one of my favorite combos. I made a custom with this from, um, what is she called? That smoke shop. And it's just like amazing. So I'm pretty sure Fantasy is going to be starting to do custom. So I'm pretty excited. But any hoodly doodly do. We are going to crack a cold one. Pals. Cheers. Mm. So good. Honestly, it kind of tastes weird because I just brushed my teeth, but. Yeah, no. Pop up whoever is my next order with custom Maltese. Jeez Louise, not for a while. Heck yeah. Are you the next one with customs? I feel like there was one before ya. Okay, Emily. No. Oh yes, it was this one. Sylvia. Sylvia! What her number? There we go. Okay. So, hoping to get through all of the ones I like mentioned yesterday plus some seems plausible yesterday I just had so much going on and like a lot of distractions yesterday but there's a ton of small orders left and of all of the orders left there's like one 150 to see like how many like bigger orders and one 100 and i think the rest of them are under a hundred dollars so should it not be too bad i always count like anything under a hundred as like an easy order it's not always true because sometimes they have a, an insane amount of custom multis and then it's like just as long as anything but here's to hoping it goes pretty quickly bust through some shit and feel productive and that'll be great also i keep playing games of terraforming longer some bg I, I think i've played probably like 10 games and they are long games and i have not won a single time i got close once but otherwise i get annihilated and it's so embarrassing also i'm gonna take a moment for the fact that i'm using a harry potter themed kit this week and Sweet Maggie Smith passed away, and also when Alan Rickman passed away, I was also using a Harry Potter kit in my planner, so it's just really like horrible times, if I'm being honest with you. I'm gonna finish filling in my planner for the yesterday and the start of today. We are possibly having game night. As of right now, we are having game night. With everything that happened yesterday with um, the car crash into SPC, I don't know if we actually know because Curly Pop might just need a relaxing evening, which I would definitely understand. So, she hasn't said that, but I know her. So, we'll see. We're gonna put on some YouTube filter planner and then get right to work. 
I don't know where we last left off today, but back on the situation where we don't have internet. Like, well, we, we do currently, but it was out for like two hours. I got all but I think like eight or nine orders done. So, it was like, <clears throat> whatever, I guess, because it wasn't really gonna affect me too bad. I can work just fine on those orders tomorrow. Makes no difference. We were originally gonna do D&D &D today, but just didn't have it prepared. <laughs> and as he's editing this, he's gonna be like, hey, you're talking shit about me. Yeah, I am. But I just made myself two grilled cheese sandwiches and some tomato soup. The reason for two grilled cheeses, first off, the most perfect golden, is because the soup is but a dipping. It's like a condiment, basically. I literally just put it directly into the Tupperware dish so I can just put a lid on it and then microwave it and continue to use it as like a condiment because I don't eat tomato soup. It's just so boring. So, we that we also, our milk was expired, so I had to make it with water. So it's not gonna be like, so it's basically what I'm getting at is I extra don't wanna just eat the soup currently six o'clock we need to leave here for 6 45 so have some time to just eat and chill laxy so that's the plan i'm gonna throw some youtube on and just have a great wonderful magical evening i do have to get ready for you i really feel cute i like to have my it only takes me like I did do my hair yesterday, but it didn't hold for some reason. Sometimes it just doesn't, but probably because it was in a bun for like all day yesterday, but I have to get ready, but I don't need to do that till like 6.30. So yeah. Happy Saturday. How art thou? How art thou? Ugh, y'all. It's late. It's like 11. No, maybe 12. It might be noon. Yeah, it's noon. We're just getting going for the day because your girl could not fall asleep last night. So I was up until five o'clock in the morning, okay? So I slept in, 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 unfortunately, but here we are. We only have nine orders to do today, between today and tomorrow. So, we're very much so good in the hood, but when I get going, get started on work. Since we're getting a late start, we want to know Odulfling. Yesterday, we went over to Andrea to play game night. We played a game of 5% magic, and then some of their neighbors came over, and so me and Andrea did a bunch of coloring. And then we played a couple of other games of magic. We got Dairy Queen ice cream, and it was a blast, but I need to finish up my orders. Hello friends, we're taking a little bit of an intermission to get dinner in the crock. She's in the laundry now. Ooh. We're going to be making like the Asian chicken situation in the crockety potty right now. Hopefully it's good. Um, it's like one something. I did have a cute little FaceTime call with my like childhood bestie pal Shanna. She gave me a call telling me that they're moving to Atlanta. So that was fun. I talked to her for a little bit and I was like, yeah, girl, I gotta get back to work. And she was like, okay, I just wanted to like uh, give you the update. And I was like, yeah, thanks. So we're gonna prepare this. Cut the chicken into chunks. Add to a freezer bag and add cornstarch. I have such a terrible, terrible hangout. And I had a band-aid on it, but it was driving me nuts trying to work with the band-aid on. So I simply had to take the band-aid off. But now it just like hurts and it's horrible. Okay, we're gonna get out all of our ingredients that we need. We're gonna need the two pounds of chicken. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, ew. We're gonna pound it. I'm gonna freeze the other chicken. Clap, 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 clap,
classic Christopher. He did not get around to it. So disgusting. Hate that. Okay, so we got the chicken. I know we need cornstarch. This is, where is it? Oh. I'm so short. Cornstarch. We need low sodium soy sauce. If this is not enough, we do have more water. We'll grab that brown sugar. Is here. Okay, brown sugar. We need rice vinegar and sesame oil. Sesame oil, rice vinegar, ginger. Garlic, honey, garlic. I know I bought ginger. Garlic. Fresh ginger is missing. Honey. It looks like it's seen better days. I'm just gonna get that tipped upside down so it all drips down. And the broccoli, we don't need to deal with her currently. She's for later. this honey it's like all solidified yeah i think i'm actually not gonna prepare this maybe i'll prepare it tomorrow because we have to go to the store and get honey because that honey is disgusting an irritants to have to stop to do this. So, hope that Kirsty knows the issue at hand is that our honey has solidified into a rock. So, yeah. Never mind. Chris and I took a bit of a breaky poo because we're starving and the internet was out. I actually don't know if the internet's even back up, if I'm being honest with you. But we went and grabbed lunch at Cabo Bob's because Chris was having a mighty hankering. Now I'm gonna film the beginning part of the book video that I'm reading and an update because I finished a book and I've started another book. So I'm gonna go film this. It's Sunday, the last day of the week, the last day of this video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, do I have chopstick somewhere? It's somewhere. Okay, so it is Sunday. Chris and I went to H-E-B this morning so I could get ginger and honey so I can make that chicken for dinner tonight. And then, um, Chris is hungry so we went into Sonic because no self-control. I, it smells so good in here. I have one of my fantasy wax clubs going. It's called um, Zuko and Iroh. And it literally smells, this is probably like so niche and nobody cares, but it smells exactly like what you would expect for the Fire Nation to smell like. It's cinnamon rolls, which is like a warm, hot cinnamon scent. Um, mixed with tea and cakes, which is like a delicious tea scent. And then um, marshmallow fireside, which is like a smoky, creamy fire scent. It literally smells exactly like the Fire Nation showed in here, and it's so good. I've been building a lot of that fantasy wax collab, and I'm just gonna say it. 
I slayed. I killed it. I forgot my glasses. Let's go get them. But I got my buffalo chicken dip bites from Sonic. So I'm going to eat that. And then, guys, I lied when I posted on Instagram this morning on my stories. Because I said that the set orders were done. And I'm technically still working on the last order. But I already printed the shipping label. So, shh. And then I have printed one non-sale order, like the last order I have to do today. Miss Domi's order was not sale, but it was like the day after and she had <laughs> ordered it before I printed orders. So it got mixed in there. So I'm gonna finish these two orders. Um, I was gonna finish it last night, but I'm gonna be honest, the one I'm doing right now from Miss Christina from New York had a lot of customs in it and it was like 8 p.m. I just like did not have it in me but i'm gonna do that those two orders and then i might do one to two days of the advent to get some head leeway on that i don't think the whole thing is not gonna take me that long i could probably do two days of the advent a day from here on out and there's some taking like two weeks to do the whole thing and it will not need to ship until mid november I did order the envelopes for that. They will be here on Tuesday as well as I did order um, poly mallers because last time we did the advent I used bubble mallers but because of like the bulk of the stickers in addition to the envelopes they like I had it was a struggle to get them in the bubble mallers so, so I think all like the padding of like all of the envelopes how thick they're going to be that the poly mallers will be fine they're gonna be like have christmas lights on them so you guys will know it's your advent so that's like the plan with that i'm gonna put on some youtube and eat my lunch and then we're gonna go put the food in the crock pot for tonight and then we will finish these orders and that will be the setup chris does have to edit my book video for this upcoming week today if you guys are watching this it comes out tomorrow if you're watching this today it comes out it comes out um thursdays when i post my book videos Thursday the third of october and it's a really fun one it's me and chris having a little bookstore date day so if you're interested in a little me and chris vlog i do suggest you subscribe the hannah's reading room linked down below oh my gosh i got such good cards i got oh my god this is gonna be a good game and i'll check in with y'all when we go make our chicken also instead of getting like another like i think they're called thumbs of ginger if i'm being honest but instead of getting another like thing of ginger like that i got like the like pre-minced like in a tube ginger because i know you have some lazy piece of shit and i don't really wanna i don't really like chopping it so oh all ears has a new video it's gonna be great okay friends we're gonna for real for real this time start the crock pot dinner <sighs> to the new PR team. I need to share that on my stories before we get to working today. Hmm. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I screenshot the recipe. Okay, so I need to grab whatever I put back in the fridge from yesterday. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I left all the ingredients out. Chris came out and was like, um, do you want me to put this stuff away for you? And I was just like, no. It lives there. I think it's just the chicken and the garlic is the only things. And we're gonna plug in the I put her on low and it takes like five hours on low so should be good it says in a gallon bag cut the chicken it says into chunks but chris mentioned how um also got a non-crunchy honey and some minced ginger how I mean, that's a good point that when you have like chicken and broccoli from like or like beef and broccoli from like a Chinese takeout place, it's cut into like it's more like shaved, like thinly sliced strips. So I think I'm gonna go for that as more so like the shape that we're gonna cut this into. And it says to put that and the cornstarch in the bag. Let me see how much cornstarch I need. One third of a cup. 
Here's cornstarch. Cornstarch, it like had a lid and stuff, and I feel like that was a much better situation. So we're gonna toss a third of a cup of cornstarch in the bag. I'm gonna wait to um, put this fully away in case I feel as though I need more, because it needs to be evenly coated. I believe is what it says. Add that and shake it until completely coated. Okay, I already have the crock pot on low. I do have a cutting board here. I'm not gonna like show you guys me cutting the chicken because it's disgusting. I am up, but I am. This is so disgusting. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, uh, uh. Just gonna cut it into like strips like that. If they seem like a little bit too long, I'll cut them in half. And these are like thinly sliced chicken breasts, so that's gonna help. Um, I get freaked out by big pieces of chicken, so I'm cutting it in a way that best like suits me and my weirdness. That might not be your reality and that's fine you do what best suits you and i'll do what best suits me even if it's like more work to cut it heck of thin oh this chicken's so cold it's like freezing my fingies I'm excited to be done with the sale orders and I am excited to get started on the advent because it's always fun to foil with like foils I haven't used a lot in, or in this case at all. Um, and the foil colors are going to be exclusive to the advent at least for like a while. They may come to the shop like whenever new colors come to the shop but that won't be until July, so if you missed out on the advent, you may be kicking yourself when you see some of these freaking colors. And I'm trying to do colors in things that like I think they would go nicely with, so on and so forth. Like say I was doing some sort of like star underlaying, I'm not gonna pick like some sort of like green foil to go with it because that would probably not match anything in the future. It's hard with the advent because I have to like almost like predict what art's gonna come out. That chicken press that I just did was like the grossest piece of chicken I've ever seen in my whole life. I literally cut like most of it and put it in the trash. so annoyed if I'm taking the time to do this and it's shit. But I feel like it should be good, you know? Raw chicken is just so disgusting. be done and throw the rest away because I'm getting really skeeped out but I'm gonna persevere I'm gonna do it guys I also would turn you off if I could so I didn't have to just keep filling dead space with like nonsensical talk but my hands are disgusting I'm covered in raw chicken so I can't touch y'all currently But yeah, it's always such a relief to be done with a sal. 
so that I can go back to having quick shipping, whatever, all orders like placed this current week that you guys are watching. All the new items are on sale, all the lovely holiday stuff, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, some New Year's stuff. It's all on sale, which is exciting, and orders placed should be processed next week. So it'll be like back to having like that quick shipping. cabinet where this is going a lot in my time living here so I am not having cornstarch go everywhere. I don't know. We are preventing that from being a possibility. Cornstarch put away. Chicken covered. Okay shake until coated. Done. together. I'm going to do that first actually. Soy sauce. You only need a third of a cup. I think I might double the sauce because I like my shit more saucy. So I think that's going to be the move. Is doubling the sauce. I'm going to use two thirds of a cup of soy. and for some sauce to go over the rice. Okay, so I'm tripling the sauce. Simply, what's happening? So we're gonna do a full cup of soy. I'm using the low sodium version. Okay, soy sauce. Oh, we do use water. That's where, okay. It's gonna be a lot of sauce now, but that's fine. I don't really care. I would rather too much sauce than not enough. So we're gonna do soy sauce, water, brown sugar, rice, vinegar, sesame oil, ginger, honey. Is that like everything? Okay, pretty much everything. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do three cups of water because we've now tripled the recipe of sauce, which now I think is kind of dramatic. I didn't read the water, but we're not gonna let our soy sauce go to waste. So. This still doesn't feel like that much sauce because it's going to thicken up. That's why we have the cornstarch. Tablespoons of brown sugar. Okay, 
tablespoon. three cups of broccoli and I'll probably add a little bit more because the broccoli is really like what's scrumptiously unctuous to me. I'm gonna use the honey as well. That also uses tablespoon. I'm gonna use nine tablespoons. Nine tablespoons in cups. a little over half a cup so I'm just gonna do half of a cup you know there we go I think that would probably be easier than doing all the tablespoons because honey is already like so annoying to try to get out Pretty much most of this little dude. Yeah, I probably would have been fine just doubling this if I'm being honest with you. But I missed the water when I was reading the instructions. So that's on me. Okay. Honey, check. And then I think everything else is using a teaspoon, maybe, possibly. Okay. Let's teaspoon says so one teaspoon. So we'll do three ish. And garlic, you measure garlic with your heart. I feel like that's something both me being the Italian and Asians, Asian culture, Asian food, have in common. We love our garlic and you just go with it, okay? This like pole tab to open this is a joke. Three 
three huge scoops because a lot of sauce, baby. I want it to be flavorful. Okay, so we're gonna whisk up the sauce. Cause you got the brown sugar and honey in here. Which are of a goopy thick texture. chicken and then we will just okay it smells really good already set timer for four hours it says that 45 minutes before you want to eat it to act properly so It'll be 4.30 and then that will make dinner be ready around 5.15, 5.30. work. I laid in bed for a while. Went for a walk. Now we are going to add the broccoli to our chicken and broccoli so that that can cook. It's had about 45 minutes before you want to consume. It smells so, so good. If I'm being honest with you. Mm, it smells really yummy. But it's had to put in three cups of broccoli. Preheat the oven. Set timer for 20 minutes. And then I'll come in here and preheat the oven. And then I will um, do that. Whenever that's preheated, I'll pop in the egg rolls and start working on. So I'm going to work on the oven, but I just really don't feel like it right now. I don't really need to, that's the thing, 
is I'm not planning, I still have like a month and a half and I think I can get all of it done in two weeks. So, you know what? I'm living on the edge and I'm saying fuck it. I don't feel like it. I will probably be doing some tomorrow because all I need to do tomorrow is print and organize orders, which there's not a lot of them, pull foil, which there's not a lot to pull foil for, and film a plan with me. It's literally it. So I can probably do two days tomorrow, maybe even three days tomorrow. And that'll be fine. Because I just, I just don't feel like it. And you know what? That's okay. Okay, well, it's a bit after five and we just finished dinner. We had the chicken and broccoli and I made rice and um, I made like frozen egg rolls. They're actually pretty good. They're like the Walmart brand, but I enjoyed them. Enjoyed dinner. It was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Nothing to really complain about there. But yeah, I definitely recommend making that chicken. If you're not like a beef person, I'm sure you can make it exactly the same and make it with beef instead of chicken and make beef and broccoli, but I didn't consume beef for the most part. So, that was not gonna be my journey. I'm putting that same scent I had going in my office in here because it's so freaking good. I'm just gonna veg out. I'm gonna, like reels and like shorts and TikToks, all those types of videos, short form videos. My um algorithm has me only seeing videos about Eminem for some reason. So <laughs> makes me want to watch Eight Mile, but it's not on any streaming service. So. Who knows, but I'm just gonna literally lay here. I don't even feel like reading right now. I just feel like laying. And that's gonna be all for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, drop a Christmas tree emoji down below. I'll see you in the next one, bye.